Hey guys, so I am making this video for all you guys out there who are in a situation where your cars are not starting. My, uh, I had an issue with my truck uh, the other day and uh, it wasn't starting at all. And, and I did find out what the answer was and I did get it to start. Everything was you know, everything's working fine now, but let me tell you guys what happened with, uh, with, with that. So basically I was parked at a Home Depot and, and, uh, went to get some stuff, came back out, tried to start the car, tried to start it and, uh, nothing happened. Nothing happened. Like got, got in and everything else worked The dash uh, everything else worked, you know. I I just got I just got uh, this uh, just got this truck um, a couple months ago, but um, and everything was it drove fine. Everything else everything worked fine, except could not get it to uh, crank this time around. But uh, once I got in, everything everything all the chimes were good. Or all, all the uh, everything worked. <clears throat> Except it wouldn't crank. Like radio, uh, blow motor, everything was working except it wouldn't crank. So I was like thinking to myself, okay, I wasn't in the Home Depot for that long. I was I was in the Home Depot for maybe like 45 minutes or something like that. Maybe I left the lights on. So I like first thing I did was I turned on the lights. Turned on the lights and they were pretty bright. Went out, checked out the lights, the headlights, and they were pretty bright. I'm like, maybe it's not... Maybe it's not the battery because the uh, first thing that came to my mind is the battery. You know, I, I don't know the history of the battery. So anyway, uh, I, I popped the hood, looked at the battery. Battery was like two years old. Like possibly the battery, but seeing as how bright the lights were, it should have just done a slow crank if the battery was weak. Scratching my head over it, I'm like, okay, uh, terminals were dirty. Let's clean up the terminals. Clean up the terminals. Uh, they were a bit loose. And I had a little ratchet set, and I ratcheted it up, tightened it up, and I was hoping that was the issue. Went back to, uh, went back and, and tried to start it, and had the same issue. So I was like, okay, uh, crossing my fingers that it was the battery that was the issue, and I went back to the Home Depot, bought a battery for it, popped it in. And was hoping that that would fix the situation and nothing, nothing at all. So I was like, okay, I can cross off the battery. Probably can cross off, pretty sure I can, yeah, I can cross off the alternator. Battery, not the battery, not the alternator. Because if it was the alternator, definitely uh, I, I would have been able to, uh, the car would have turned on. I would have been able to, the truck would have turned on. I would have been able to get like at least... Um, you know, 20 miles on the driving, uh, driving just off the battery alone without the alternator uh, charging it. If you guys haven't done that, if you guys are in a situation where the alternator is dead, you guys could actually uh, just pop in a, a, a fully charged battery and then drive for a good 20, 30 miles with uh, all the accessories off. Good tip for you guys, but wasn't the alternator, so I was like, What's what's next? I'm gonna check the ground wires. Check the ground wires, and the ground wires were the ground wire was good from the negative of the battery. Uh, I actually did check that when I changed up the battery. The ground wire was good. It was connected. Uh, it was there's no corrosion on it. A little bit of rust, no corrosion. I'm like okay, not the ground wire, not the battery. Can eliminate the alternator. What else could it be? So I'm looking around. I'm like. Fuses and relays. Fuses and relays. But before I did that, I was like, maybe it's possible. Maybe it's possible that the car's computer is having issues. Maybe it's the PCM that's causing it. So I went and I... I went and I got an O... I had, I had an OBD2 that I, I used when I bought the car that I got from Walmart for 19 bucks. And basically what I did was... Um, 
I know that the OBD2 is not going to pick up a no start issue for the most part, it's, you know, especially a $19 OBD2. But I plugged it in just to make sure that the battery is connected to the car. And guess what? The battery, I mean, the the, um, the computer was connected to the car. And guess what? The, the computer was connected to the car. It did a readout. There was no codes. Nothing that would cause the situation that it could pick up. That it, that it could pick up. Uh, everything was good. Okay, so I can rule out the car's computer not connecting to the car. Fine, can rule that out. Um, and uh, at that point, I was thinking. At that point, I was thinking. Okay, I got a couple of easy fixes left uh, with this. A couple easy fixes I have left with this. Uh, one of those easy fixes would be a fuse or relay. Um, and I was crossing my fingers that it may be a, a relay. But thinking about it. I thought about it and I was like, okay, every time I try to start, and I did try to start at least 20 times, it would make a click. Uh, and uh, it would keep on making like one click on, on each try. And one click on each try, pretty sure that that's coming from the relay, all right? Because if I had, heard, I had heard no click at all, I, I would know that maybe the relay was having issues because the relay, that click is just a relay initiating from the battery to the... Um, the, the battery initiating uh, contact to the starter. Re battery to relay to starter. Anyway. Anyway. Uh, at that point, I was able to rule out the relay. Uh, thinking more about it, I was like, maybe it's one of the fuses. Maybe it's it's the fuse to the starter. And I was thinking all these, these, these situations that I had previously and uh, before I got this um, truck, I actually did have a um, uh, uh, an Acura and uh, one of those situations that I, and, and, uh, occurred to me uh, occurred when I had that Acura was a no start no crank situation and it was no cranks no start situation in in with that car because um, uh, I had no power to the car and uh, figured out that it was the main fuse that was blown Pretty much connected two two screwdrivers, two metal ends of the screwdrivers to where the fuse terminals were, and the car powered on and started up. Unfortunately, uh, it was not an easy fix for this for 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 this because I, I because I was getting power. I was getting power for everything except I was getting power to everything except uh, it won't crank. The engine won't crank. So I was like, okay, let's let's cross that off the list uh other the other fuse issue that i had was with um i believe it was either the fuse to the car's pcm or fuse to the um fuel pump it would crank but it would not turn over everything else worked it would crank but it would not turn over and change that up and i believe it was the fuel pump fuse changed the fuse it started right up uh, which unfortunately is not the situation in this case because this is a no crank, no start issue. Uh, it will not crank at all. So at that point, I pretty much crossed off pretty much everything that could possibly be the issue except for the starter. Now, here's this issue. Here's my problem with this issue, particularly with the starter. Um, and now... Well, not exactly a problem, but the guy who sold me the car told me that the starter was changed up like, you know, a year and a half ago. He's selling the car with a starter that's practically brand new, only put on uh, a couple of thousand, like 5,000, 7,000 miles on the, on, on the car since he swapped out the starter. And I was thinking to myself, maybe it's, maybe he, he maybe, maybe it is the starter. Maybe it is the starter. So I like... At that point, I was like, there's no way I could test test it out. I could, but there's no way I could test it out, um, particularly in a parking, um, Walmart parking lot. So I was like, I had my tools with me and everything. So I called AAA. AAA picked, up, uh, picked it up, picked up the truck, drove it to, um, drove it home. And then I, I doubled up on, on all the things that I, I, I mentioned in this video the fuses, the relays, the grounds, the battery, double check, charge up the battery, uh, 200%. Um, everything was checked out. Did I, I did a, a bump test, uh, on the, 
uh, on the relay sockets with a pin. The, the, the star did not start up. I was like, okay, pretty sure it's a starter. And uh, at that point, I was like, at least 99% sure it's a starter. Took everything, uh, you know, went to the starter, uh, took a cable from the positive line, hooked it directly to the terminal on the solenoid, did not bump at all. I knew uh, ni- uh, about close to 100% that it was a starter. Took the starter off, went to AutoZone, had them do a test on it, and the starter was the problem anyway at that point i was i was like okay let's uh got up got rebuilt one for about you know 150 after the core was was uh given to them 150 160 whatever it was popped the starter in and uh you know what i was hoping that it was the starter pop the starter in turn it on and it and turned on it turned on and uh I, I was glad that it was a starter. I mean, I, you know, it, it was. I was disappointed that you know, you know, the the starter was the problem after being told that you know it was replaced. But things happen. Um, but of all the things that could happen, wasn't the biggest deal in the world. Got the starter put in, and uh, got the car, got got the truck to work. Uh, I'm all good with it. If you guys are in this situation, you guys are still with me. Um, just go through all the steps as far as what I've mentioned in this video. Uh, you could probably figure out like 99%, probably like 90% of the situation that's causing your car or truck or whatever you're driving not to start. It's probably because, uh, you know, it was probably caused by one of those things that I mentioned. All right. It's probably uh, caused by one of the things that I mentioned, but, um, if, if I've helped you guys out, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe. If you guys have a comment, particularly with your situation, uh, please leave a comment in the comment section. Uh, hope this has helped you guys out. Hope you guys, you know, hope the cause of your problem is probably one of those easy fixes that I mentioned. A fuse, a relay, maybe the battery, uh, negative ground wire. Even the alternator is probably easier to replace. But anyway, regardless of that, um, take care, guys.